Welcome back to more No Man's Sky. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Well, we made it to the space station last time. I haven't done anything since then. But before we go and talk to various people, we are supposed to check in with some life forms and talk about this uh, mysterious signal number 16. Before we do that, let's see. Is this the right side? Okay. Let's go over here. I don't know if we have enough money, but we can expand our exosuit. 5,000. We have 32,000 units, probably from all the junk we've been scanning and a few things that we sold. So let's go ahead and do that. So that helps a little bit. We'll try to remember to do that when we go to new space stations. You can only do it once. Uh, you can see it's got a... Oh, I thought it had a little lock thing. But anyways, it doesn't come up if you come by it again. We can do... S what is that? Okay. We can talk to the Exocraft guy. We're nowhere near that. We can get some upgrades for our spaceship and our multi-tool. Let's see what's for sale here. Okay, you can get out of here. The Renault Probe. It's a rifle instead of a pistol. It's got tons of space. I do like that, but I don't think we can afford it. <laughs> Two and a half million units. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're not there yet. All right, we, what I really wanted to do was go to the other side. I can, if I wanted to, if I wanted to buy one of these spaceships and we had the money, we could. Like if I went and look at this thing, if I talk to this guy. Yeah, the pilot's eyes bulge slightly when I approach, but ultimately they decide to allow trading negotiations. Uh, they gesture towards their starship. They're willing to sell for the right price. So we can buy and sell stuff from them, but we can also buy their ship. Look at this. It's an A-class ship. It's a hauler. There's different types. There's fighters, there's haulers. They have different stats. A hundred million units? Are you kidding me? And the first space station we went to. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever seen a ship cost that much before. That's amazing. It's got uh, the launch system recharger, so you never have to buy fuel again. It really doesn't have anything special. Oh, maybe this. Nah, it's not even that great. The launch system, you'll, you'll find these on most ships later on once we get the technology. But look at all that space. I love that. I wish we could buy it. So we can't really afford anything at this point. So instead, what we can do, because we do want to get rid of our junk ship, we will want to go, I think, to this guy. Look at, he looks amazing. Hotelaru. I don't know what you're saying. This life form clearly occupies an important position in the station. At first glance, they do not seem particularly interested in me. Perhaps the code will change their mind. Let's ask about the other travelers. So this is part of the main quest. No look of re recognition passes across the life form's face. We continue to misunderstand each other. All right, let's try again. Here we go. No, he has nothing to say to me. Am I talking to the right guy? I was hoping for a cartographer thing. Huh, maybe I need to do the main quest guy. All right, we've got these guys. Let's ask about 16. The alien's elegant metallic shell springs to life as I approach. They study me, lights flashing around their visor. Perhaps they know something about the messages left at the base computer. A glazed look passes over the life form's visor. The number has had some strange effect on them. They seem reluctant to speak further. What about this guy? They're all with that weird blue yellow. That's different. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know what that is. The life form chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. But when I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. 
We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Oh, I guess the... I wonder if the red are the Atlas words that we know. So we're speaking to the Atlas right now, I think. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly into my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. All right. Every system has a space station serving as its hub. Speaking to life forms. Bring the chance to trade, learn words, or gain standing. So, like, we we have increased our gex standing because of something we picked up yesterday. And we can visit the merchants. Okay, maybe now I can talk to this guy. I just did it too soon? I can't... <laughs> I can't reach you? No, he doesn't... He doesn't want to talk to me. Do any... That guy won't talk to me for sure. What about you? Mission guy? No, I guess I have to... Do some stuff before I can really use the space, sh the space station for all it's worth. So we can't understand this guy. This guy's a slightly different looking gek. But we can practice our language skills, of which we have none. Or we can request dialect help. That's useful. Envoy Hitara mimes excitedly, performing a series of actions that seem to represent words I might learn. And I can choose the type of word I can learn. I'll ask for another gek word. And we got the gek word for friends. So we can talk to everybody and learn more of their race's language. It's a little tedious, but it is worth the while. I won't bore you with it right now. Let's go ahead and teleport back to our base. Even though our base doesn't have our teleporter is not active because the fuel I'm sure has run out by now we can still teleport we just can't teleport away from the base Okay, finally. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> I don't know if that's just PC. I don't know if that's on the Xbox and everything else as well. But when you teleport, you just kind of float in the air for a minute. Not sure why. Okay, I'm going to shoot, uh, shoot a mushroom. Just to up our carbon a little bit. I do need to recharge the, the mining beam. I mean, I guess I don't need to, but... It's a good idea. All right, let's look at this guy. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Distressing them. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so the reason I wanted to talk to the cartographer. Where's our shit? Right here. Let's let's just get one one more little bit of carbon before we go. Just in case. And here we go. No, no, we don't. Uh, do I have more fuel? I do. Okay. We do want to deal with that. So, the reason I wanted to talk to the cartographer was to get distress beacons. Because sometimes a distress beacon... Are we high enough to pulse? No. Let's go a little bit higher. There we go. And back down. Oh, we can't. Oh, well, it's not too far away. Yeah, the distress beacons will sometimes lead you to broken down, abandoned ships, which hopefully this is one of them. 
Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's something else. But we'll have to see. Fingers crossed. If it is a ship that's been abandoned, it's broken down and we'll have to take some time to fix it. What do you got? Possible distress signal. Uh, is it over the hill? It is weird to me that the... <laughs> that the things are... Under the ground. That seems weird. Oh, hello. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. My pacifist run may be over. Can I make it that far? This guy gonna chase me the whole time? This is gonna be a problem. Let's just go. Or maybe, maybe I can just fly over there. Oh, ow! Oh, we're fine. We'll fly over. I can see it. There's a big old ship right there. So this is not an abandoned starship. This is a big old destroyed freighter. We can land. Yeah, we can land right there. Okay. Uh, is this a... No, there's nothing here. It's all busted up. MS Claw of Usono? Oh, wait. That's not what it said. Wings of the Anomaly. Log damage, partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Request the log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. Take the blueprint. It's a hyperdrive blueprint. Somebody placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be fun. Alright. We have the metal for it, thank goodness. But we need microprocessors, and I think we have to go back to the station for it. I'm using up all my starship fuel. Uh, this doorway right here. Can we go in? I might be able to. Boom. Alright. Cool. Yeah, these derelict freighters do have treasure in them. Is this... I think this is empty. It's super dark. But this... Cargo pod. Chromatic metal. Eight of eight. I can afford that. What do you got for me? Nanites. Yeah, we got a little bit hurt from radiation. We'll, we'll be fine. Uh, are there more? I, th I think there's going to be... Oh, hello. Okay, I'm a little nervous about more uh, dangerous animals around. Yeah, in that door right there. I feel like this might be a... Like a secondary mission. But... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We can still loot it. There's good supplies in here. We do suffer a little bit from the radiation. Uh, open it. Nanites. Why nanites? I kind of wanted other stuff. I hope we don't die. We're fine. Okay, well that's enough of that. There's more stuff around, but if we're just going to get nanites, it's not really worth it. Let's see. What else? Are there any underground. Yeah, you can see there's more of the treasure things underground, the cargo pods, but there's no cargo, apparently. Uh, let's not put that there. Let's maybe move this. Oh, I've used the chromatic metal on the thing. 
Maybe we can buy some at the space station. Is there anything else we need? We do need more salvage things. Is there anything closer? Copper. Hello. I do like how these look. And there are other planets that are even fancier. You see how they all light up at night? That's so cool. I like that. Looks great. Are you, uh... Any of you dangerous? Let's scan this other fella. There we go. Is he the dangerous one? He is. I'm glad he doesn't see me. Let's get all of this. We do need it for that chromatic metal. Give me all your copper. Alright, so the ship over here. We do have to go back. Is that the space station? Yeah. Before we go, let's set our refiner down and change this chromatic... Sorry, change this copper to chromatic metal. Let's do that right now. Missing components. Oh, I left it at the house. I can make another one. It's fine. Copper, copper, right here. I think that'll be just enough. We still need to go to the space station to get the microprocessor, so I guess it's not really a big deal. Units required 29,000 of 95,000. Well, that's going to be a thing. We need money. We need money. We need to sell some stuff. Let's see what's over there. I think, oh, don't hit the ship. I think we have to explore and do some basic stuff. Oh, is it right here? Oh, it's a beacon. Let's land. Shoot a mushroom. We're gonna go get that knowledge stone. I don't know if you saw it. The hill. Are you the. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Alright. Um. Yeah, we're not gonna go get the knowledge stone. Don't you. Leave me alone. Go on the ship. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna jump out, we're gonna hit the beacon. Oh, there's some more rusted metal at the... Yeah, I see you. I think we'll be okay if we make a dash for it. Come on, let's go. Nope, stay away from me! Get it, hit the waypoint! Minor settlement. Where are they? Back to the ship. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, he was close. Are we out of fuel? We're out of fuel. Okay, we only have this. Let's go ahead. Hold on a second. Let's put this in the high capacity. Oh no, we're not. We're not out of fuel. 
Oh. I guess I just wasn't holding it down long enough. How far away are you? Too far. Let's go into space. We're going to go to the settlement, and then maybe they'll have microprocessors. It's possible. And if not, we'll go to the space station. Oh, it's, it's an underwater settlement? No, no. Is there anything cool? Oh, there's two settlements. We're doing great. Oh, this... <laughs> what? Yeah, that's part of the whole procedurally generated thing. I think we can use our terrain manipulator at least to approach the door. Yeah, we're we're fine. Anything in here? Looks like uh, some nanites. That's it. Let's check the other one. Oh, this looks like uh, yeah, stock transfer. We'll get some credits. better than not getting credits. Okay. What do we have? Is there anything yet to scan? Good. Not this guy. See that paraffinium. It's in this cave. One of those. Check out what's in here. Let's see if we can sell anything in here, maybe? All right. Oh, do you have a microprocessor? He does. But we need three. Okay, what can I sell you? Two salt. This nitrogen, not worth nearly enough. We don't need that battery. My salvage data? What if I sold one? Did that get us where we wanted to go? I hate that I did that, but where are you? Let's take these three. All right, I think we're good. Hello, sir. The air around this beaked life form smells foul. It seeps into my exosuit and makes me gag. Noticing my expression, the trader pecks at an element they carry. They break the substance into pieces, then swallow each whole. Friend something, geck something, geck something. Yeah, we definitely need to learn more words. There's a deep gurgle in the geck emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes their empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. Um... I don't know which one of these would be the right thing. He's eating something that crumbles. So maybe carbon? Do they eat carbon? Carbon is like wood. Or maybe the sodium for like a shield? Do you eat sodium? Is that like salt? I feel like my default is to always go with carbon. But let's go with carbon. Hey, he nods a thank you. They decline to eat my gift, and the scent washes away. My senses return to a dull neutrality. Maybe that wasn't right. Maybe I should have gone with the sodium. Is this the same thing? Yeah. All right. So I think 
Those things take so long. So we can just scoot it right away. Oh, I forgot I had that. I want to add more salt here. So we have this starship hyperdrive. Yeah, let's go to this. Three of five. I can put the chromatic in there before I forget. Are there more? What is that? Armored clam. Uh, that's a that's a rusted metal guy right here sometimes they have things that are worthwhile um, <laughs> we just need one more we just need one more what's in this guy now the living slime can be turned into nanites so it is useful in its own way. That's just neonites. Come on. Have a microprocessor. Now there was one more building. I believe just up the coast. Before we fly all the way to the space station. Yep, right over there. I don't think we'll find any microprocessors here, but let's land. Let's get this rusted metal. Come on, microprocessor. Now, I bet in the ground. Yep, right there. Get that in a second. Let's get some more slime. So, what happens is if I put this here, throw some fuel in it, and uh, let's do this one first. This, yeah, this will change into more viscous slime. Where's that guy right here? Give me your data. We may need to sell it to get that last processor. And then... What did I... Oh, I never got the nanites from that. 39%. Alright, let's check the buildings. Nothing in here. In here? Oh yeah, okay. So we did get hurt by that animal, so we could use the health. Research specimen, yep, get some gex standing. I don't know why that does that, but it does. So now, you take the living slime, and you know what? We actually have more living slime already. So we've got 169 living slime. We can turn that into runaway mold. It'll take a minute. The runaway mold can be turned into nanites. So while we're waiting, can I scan you? You might be too far away. Are they They're too high up? I think so. Let's get some... We don't really need the ferrite dust because we've got all that rusted metal. We will need carbon for ages. And you know what? For launch fuel, we're going to need... Oh, come on. Really? Oh. Okay, I was going to get that. <laughs> I was going to get the dihydrogen. That's still running. Let's 
not bother that guy. So, okay, so let's just unidentified plant. You don't usually come across dangerous animals. It's pretty rare. Go over here, go like this. It's five to one, but we'll make 33 nanites. And we can use the nanites to help us. Wait, wait, is there somebody here? The music just picked up. And we're fine. Okay, so right after this, as soon as that's done, we'll go ahead and go to the space station, get that last, get that last thing. Uh, we'll take that, throw that in here. Those nanites as well. Pick this guy up before I forget. And we're out. Is there anything nearby? What's that oxygen animal? Nothing worthwhile. Let's get out of here. We're already down to zero. Okay, let's go to the space station. And I feel like today, maybe we didn't accomplish as much as maybe we could have. We did a bit of exploring, got some nanites. Not that important right now, but they will be once we go to the anomaly. Whew. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, we have enough stuff to get in there. I was, uh, you know what? Well, since we're here, let's shoot some of these guys. They'll give us silver and a couple of other things. Gold to sell. They've really uh, changed the way the explosions work, or or look, I should say, for these asteroids. They look kind of nice. That's good enough. Let's get going. We haven't really improved our base. We, we have the teleporter. We have the biofuel thing, but we had that before. We did build the hyperdrive. So a little bit was accomplished today. You know what, I think, let's talk to this guy. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna give him a gift. That'll increase our standing with the Gek. And then I'm gonna ask him for another word. Let's do a travel symbol. I need one more microprocessor, and we do have the money. I think we're good. We've done the. We've already done the chromatic metal part.
We're good. We've done it. Craft warp full fuel. Find the antimatter recipe. We will do that next time, I think. Let's break some of this down. Break this gold down. Yeah, I'll get the rusted metal going and clean this up a bit in time for the next video. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our time together. We'll continue on. We'll get that warp fuel and travel to another system, maybe, in the next video. We'll see you then. Take care.